Hi, in this video I'm going to find obstacle sites and find point of intersection uh, between uh, our beams and our obstacle sites. So first of all we need to create a function. I will name it get obstacle sites. And we need to get obstacles array. from the state and we need to map over this array and get each element, each obstacle. For each obstacle we need to get hex center. I will use hex to pixel function and before I will use it I will parse this element because it's array of strings representing objects and then I need to create for loop i less than 6 and I will use this loop to get corners of each obstacle. Uh, I will need a function get hex corner which we used to get corners of our each hexagon and I will copy that and pass it inside my for loop. So at each iteration I will get um, each corner of the obstacle and then from start corner to end I will draw line so this will be this line, this line, this line and eventually I will get sides of obstacles so let's create uh, array where we will put each side and let's create site variable and I will use JSON stringify to create object with start and end values. Uh, we get start and end objects here so we will get the start dot x and start dot y and same for the end so we will get um, eventually array of sides of two points of one side start and end then I need to check if array already includes side then sorry don't include site then we push this site to array okay then after that we need to store it in state I will create hex sites key in state and assign to it my array of sites. Then I need to create callback. This visible field callback in which I will call this function. because we need to call this visible field after we will get hex sites array and we need to modify our breath first search uh, function instead of calling visible field 
function we will call get obstacles get obstacle sites sorry and I will copy it here so let's save let's create default value of hex sites it will be empty array and after we put uh, sites to hex sites array we can uh, get it here hex sites and for testing we will uh, draw these sites so I will use for loop for that and I will use this function draw line and each time when I iterate through this loop I need to get sight and uh, we know that hex sites is array of stringified uh, coordinates so I need to use JSON parse on each hex site uh, element so I will use this to draw site start x site start y oh sorry we need an object here so I will use an object as argument with x and y and then here we need to specify si site end x and y site and y and I, I draw red color so let's save, let's reload the browser ok, we have an error here sensor is not defined at canvas get obstacles center of course we need to replace center with hex center let's save okay I think I made a mistake here instead of calling function here I need to call it here and I will check the same for this uh, here it's okay okay so let's save reload the page and we see that our obstacles have the sides red sides let's um, increase decrease opacity by 5 for example okay we see sides so right now we need to uh, calculate intersection of beams with each hike sides of these obstacles so for this we will return to our visible field function and here I'm going to delete this and I'm going to delete our line that we used as demonstration and I'm going to delete this draw line function and instead 
I will again use for loop to iterate other our hex sites array and at each direction I will get coordinates of the side and I will copy that and paste it here and in intersect variable in line intersect function we need to leave this same and instead li line start and line end we need to type side start x side start y starting point of our obstacle side and end point of our obstacle side Okay, and if beams intersect with uh, sides of hexagon, we need to just draw a line from center of player position to intersection point. Okay, let's save. Let's reload the page. J is not defined. Okay, we used I, so... Okay, we see that uh, there's too many beams. That's because uh, we calculate uh, intersection of beams for each side. Uh, you see that it's very slow and we need to do something better. First of all, I can use break. So if point of intersection is calculated, if it's true, then we draw a line and then we break this loop. Let's reload and you see that we get we got something better okay um, you see that something is wrong here uh, this seems uh, fine and this too but you see that we intersect uh, this uh, wall and then lines go through it and that's because uh, we iterate over obstacles over this array of obstacles and it's iterate and calculate intersection uh, from starting of this array to end so we need to somehow find nearest obstacles and put it in array in the first place to calculate intersection with nearest obstacles and only then with farthest obstacles so for this we need to create some function we will see how we can make it in the next video thanks for watching